All right, no secret here. The summer heat putting some valley pets in danger, but now there's a different kind of first responder out there to help them. Someone who answers calls specifically for animals, not Ace Ventura, though. Yeah, this is really neat stuff. All right, we're talking about emergency animal medical technicians, or for short, EAMTs. They're much busier than you might think. And today they took Team 12's Adam Bagney along for a ride. And many of the animals that we run into are in pretty critical condition. Maybe you've seen them roaming around the valley. Emergency animal rescue trucks from the Arizona Humane Society, working 365 days a year to respond to the urgent needs of pets. We have our boards on there with all of the calls that have come in that all of the drivers will go to today. The society takes calls from residents and police at its dispatch center who stays in radio contact with an EAMT. Today we followed Katie McGowan to her first call for help after someone reported that a woman with a small trailer was housing nearly 20 dogs. So we're coming out to kind of do a welfare check, make sure we know how many animals she has, what condition they're in and speak to her about what her options are. Turns out the woman had multiple pregnant pooches and a litter only days old. I'm kind of making sure that their living conditions in here um, are going to be acceptable for them so that they stay in good weight and that they stay healthy. The owner agreed to give up the babies and their mama, but there's no legal limit on how many dogs she can own. So she simply got a voucher for a free spade and neuter and they'll be checking up on her from now on. She was very willing to comply. That always goes a long way. She let you in the house. A lot of times if they don't let us in the house, it's because there's something they don't want us to see. The call turned out to be a friendly one, but others aren't as easy. Whether an animal is critically injured or an owner is acting hostile, a call to police isn't necessarily rare. The technicians work with local officials, but have no real legal authority. Katie, you ever worry about your safety? Sometimes, you know, occasionally you have someone that they believe that we might be a threat, so they might get upset with us. Meantime, the average EAMT responds to roughly 50 calls a day, a program funded exclusively by donations. We want you and your pets to be happy and healthy, and any way that we can help would be great. In Phoenix, Adam Backney, 12 News. Oh, and they told us that the little puppies yeah. are in the ICU recovering right now as they were just born. You saw them there in the little basket. Yeah, what a neat job, but, but like we were talking about, you know, you're not going to always show up to puppies. Well, There's right. A lot of danger they do. Good question there about safety. So, yeah. you know, just be careful. Even if you're approaching dogs in your neighborhood, you just yeah. want to, you know, step lightly. All right. So. What a great story. Thanks, Adam. All right. You still got time to vote in.